Welcome everyone. Uh, welcome to Flora Rubio and Fede Baronti from Dyser, who are tonight's guests. But first of all, happy birthday, Dyser. So I brought a birthday cake and a couple of stormtroopers to guard it. Um, Dyser is 22 years old today, I think. So all grown up, ready to drink alcohol and everything. Uh, so you can have a bit of fun at that. Um, so let me shortly introduce our today's presenters. Flora Rubio is the head of marketplace sales at Dyser and partner manager. And Fede Veronti is a, boy, a customer product experience representative. No, support representative. Close enough. You will explain. Close enough. Afterwards. That's okay. okay. That's <laughs> so, right. And so without further ado, um, Flora, Fede, take it away. Share your screen. And we're looking forward to your presentation. Okay, thank you very much for the introduction. So let me share the screen now. Okay. Can you see it properly? Yeah, okay, great. So first of all, thank you very much uh, to all of you for being here today. So as we just mentioned, I hope you're all safe uh, despite of the situation. Um, and thank you also to um, York for the opportunity to join uh, the event. So as I just said, uh, we are traveling from home. So it's a, it's a great opportunity for us to talk to the German um, uh, Atlassian users. Um, so today I'm going to talk mainly about uh, Profield uh, 7, even if we have um, other apps on the marketplace. Um, we're going to focus on Profield, which is an app that has been recently listed as a staff pick by Atlassian. Um, so Fede will be here for the question at the end of the presentation. So if you've got any question, you can uh, ask uh, directly on the chat box. And uh, let me introduce you now how you can have um, an effective project tracking in Jira thanks to, to Profield. So <clears throat> here is today's agenda. So we'll first begin with a brief look in the fundamental problem which are solved by um, Profields. Then um, I will cover how to solve those problems and how to get a better project tracking in, uh, in Jira. So then I will show you a full uh, live demo of how to track your entire portfolio of projects thanks to Profields. And I will show you also some of the features that we consider mandatory to achieve the, this task. Then I will show you briefly the main new features of Profit 7 that we've launched a few months ago. And at the end, I will share with you some of the tips and the main takeaways of the, of the presentation. And as I just said, so we have a, a live Q&A session at the end. Uh, so again, if you've got any question, any feedback, uh, please feel free to, to share with us. So before getting to the demo, I think it's important to remind you which problem we are trying to solve uh, thanks to, to Profils. So it is a fact that over the last 10 years, uh, Jira became the most powerful issue tracker of the, of the market. So as you know, Jira is ideal for any team to get every relevant information in a unique place. Okay, but this added value, as you uh, must know, is always and only from the issue level. Okay, so that's when we've started to wonder how to go further than this issue level and provide some answer from a higher perspective, where basically our user could track, they could classify and categorize Jira project data. So everything that I'm going to show you today is around project. So um, basically Profit was made so you could finally be able to do some Jira project tracking and understand a bit better what's going on into your, your Jira instance. Okay, so this is a bit the image of um, like how we, uh, we picture the use of, of profiles on your, your Jira instance. So before getting deeper into the tool, I would, uh, I would like to uh, remind who is Profile for. Well, <clears throat> we recall that anyone in charge of a large portfolio of projects who, who needs to get a higher level view in Jira would really appreciate uh, profiles. So who are they? So our users are mainly team leads uh, who need to take some strategic decision based on a real Jira project data. That can be also a consultant from um, an Atlassian partner uh, that uh, will be uh, running um, and classify project for customers. But that can be also a Jira admin. Uh, I will show you some of uh, the features that offer a profile that can help in order to save time when uh, you, um, you do some Jira administration. 
Um, so Profit is available for Jira Server, uh, Data Center, and Cloud. Uh, but I must say that not all the features I'm going to show you today are available for the Cloud version yet. Uh, it's definitely part of our strategy to work on the Cloud version. We are um, closely talking to Atlassian also uh, to, uh, to, uh, to improve this, uh, this Cloud version. And we're also carefully listening to our users to uh, create the best roadmap uh, for the next year. So let's focus now on how we pretend to give an uh, answer to project tracking, thanks to Profield. So all the features that we have created uh, in the past few years uh, help our users to improve the project tracking. So first you've got data. So data is a key focus when using Profield, uh, especially thanks to the ability to create custom properties on your project. Then you've got notifications. So this is uh, one of the last features uh, we've released. Uh, the feedback of our user is really positive. So basically the same way you can be aware of an issue uh, change in JIRA, you will be able to, um, uh, to be notified of any relevant change uh, around your project. Then you've got operations. So these features is highly appreciated by users um, and uh, more spe especially by Jira admin as it helped them to do massive changes on a large amount of projects. So this feature, and I'm going to show you it later, is called uh, bulk operation. So it means that thanks to Profile, you can not only get more data, but you can also operate on them, which is a real game changer for, for users. <clears throat> then we've created different views uh, for you to display those, um, those project data. So first we had the list view of your project and now you can have also a release view. So I'm going to show you it during the, the demo. Then you are um, also, thanks to Profield, able to follow up on your project. You are able to track critical information for your business. So you, uh, you cannot lose any information that, uh, that matters to you or your team. And uh, last but not least, <clears throat> the reporting. So uh, this task is um, one of the most important when we talk about project tracking. That's why we have decided to improve uh, the reporting uh, in, in JIRA. But uh, so not only with Profile, but also with some integration um, like with EasyBI, for example. So now that I gave you a bit of context, let me show you how uh, the product looks like. So for this demo, let's pretend um, you are a project lead, okay? And uh, as a project lead today, you want to identify how many Java projects you've got in your JIRA portfolio. So as you may know, JIRA cannot give you easily this information, uh, the native uh, version of JIRA. So let me show you how Profiles can help you with that. <clears throat> so to do so, you open JIRA, obviously, and uh, you open uh, the project list. Yeah, perfect. So here you can see all your projects and you're going to easily, uh, add easily sorry, some information. So we're going to pick the programming language and we're going to add the project status. So this is really important because what you're seeing is uh, some custom properties you've added thanks to, to Profield. Okay. So now we're going to ask the question. Um, so I'm going to choose in the programming language filter the Java project. And I'm going to pick also all your project as a project lead. So project lead, perfect. So now I'm going to see only your Java project. Then you can also um, save the filter. So you can create a new one. Let's name it Java project. And if you save it, you will be able to look back at it in, in the future. So. Um, Perfect. So there is a bug, as I can see. I don't know if you can see my screen or not. But basically, okay, so um, once you've created your filter, so you will be able to look back at it. Uh, so here I just show you the, the first step, how to get uh, more data. And uh, obviously you will be able to uh, follow up on your projects uh, thanks to uh, those uh, data that you've added on your project. 
So um, now that I've got more data, I want to receive notification around them. So let's say that uh, you want to know which of your projects have changed from last week. So to make it simple, we will keep the same um, filter. So the Java project one, and we're gonna create a new subscription. So let's name it weekly subscription. So you decide to follow up on your Java project. So to be aware of any change around this um, Java project, you can choose uh, to highlight on only updated values and you can pick uh, Monday at 8 a.m. for example. <coughs> Perfect, so if you click on schedule, so if you're on C subscription, you can see all your past subscriptions. So here you, you can see the one you've just created. And then uh, let's do uh, some uh, massive change. So you can see how it looks like. So if you go back to your Java project and you click on bulk operation, so here you can choose to change the project field. In that case, we'll change some project status. And we'll say that your statue will go from ready to ongoing. You click on next and you confirm that you can um, update 17 project and here it is. So now that we've done those changes, as you can see on the, on the right, the change has been made. We will wait until the next Monday and see which kind of um, email you will receive. So. As you can see on your screen, uh, on, the, on the right, you can see the updated values uh, with the project status that we've just changed. But you can see also the list of, uh, of uh, projects that have been updated. So <clears throat> profiles offer different way of uh, receiving notification. So um, creating a, a new subscription can be one of them. You can also uh, decide to watch a project and I'm gonna show you later uh, this, uh, this feature. So uh, let's um, focus now again on the uh, bulk operation that I just showed you. So um, Profils offer you uh, the, the ability to do massive changes on your project. Okay, so this is one of the best features that Profils offer. Uh, at least um, this is something that was told by our customers. Um, but basically this option offer you the ability to save sometimes to reduce manual tasks. Uh, and now we're going to pretend that uh, your project lead wants to set a new user as a developer across all uh, his um, Jira portfolio. So to do so, we're going to select this time only your, your project as a project lead. <coughs> Perfect. And we're going to do so and we're going to click again on the cooperation. So you can see different uh, options. So here we're going to select role because we want to add a new developer. You're going to add a user. Next. And we're going to say that Floragant wants, uh, she will be the, the new developer. So, and click on next. So here you're gonna select 110 projects. So you can confirm it's really important to be aware of which project you are updating. And here it is. If you expand and scroll down, you can see the entire list of projects that you uh, just updated. So um, the bulk operation feature is, uh, it's re is really a must for users. Uh, instead of spending hours do doing those change manually, you can uh, do it in a few clicks. As I just show you, obviously you need to make sure you want to update this project. But again, that can be a, a real like uh, time saver for, for you, as a, especially as a Jira admin. So uh, now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you what we call like uh, the, the homepage of Profil, which is basically um, the Jira project navigator. So the same way you will have the Jira issue navigator, here you will have the entire list of, uh, of projects. So we've done different, um, different views. So I'm going to show you both of them. So if we go back to the project <coughs> tab, sorry you're going to have the, the list or the releases. So here, let me show you again the list and you can select the releases uh, view on, the, on this tab. 
So this is basically a timeline of all your projects. So let's go back to your um, project as a project lead. And we're going to select again the Java, uh, Java project in the programming language figure. Great. So here you can see on the screen that you've got the timeline of all uh, your releases. And uh, if you select one of your projects, like this one, for example, the profit public backlog, you can expand and see all your releases. What is great also here, if, if you put the mouse on this circle here, awesome, you can see uh, like a pop of information with some information related to your release, like the status of your project, uh, start date, release date. I'm going to show you it a bit later, a bit deeper of uh, those, uh, this feature. But um, I really want to focus on this one. Uh, one, because it's new. We've released it in January. It was really um, asked by a customer to add this view. But also because we really think that can be a great asset for any software team. But also outside from here, like, let's imagine your marketing department, for example, they want to be aware of your next release. And then they, they, you know, like they can use the release view and they don't have to, to ask to, to the software team. They can check and get ready for, for the next release without even asking. So Profit can be also a good, uh, a good tool to break silos, to improve the communication also. Great, so um, now that uh, I've shown you like some of the, the main features, uh, I think it's time for me to show you how your project looks like thanks to uh, profiles. So to improve the follow-up uh, of your project, we've created what we call like a layout, which is basically a box of information on your project. Okay, so let me show you how it looks like. So if you click on any of your projects, this one, for example, this is the layout. Okay, so this is really important. This is where you configure it, all the information you want to um, uh, to see around your project. You can also change information like for example you can change your status so here it's on ongoing we can put it on live uh, you can change the priority budget any information that matters to uh, to your business you can also see the history of the change that has been made on your project with, which uh, give you a bit of insight also like uh, what are the updated value who has made the, the change also when etc etc so, and the last figure also here, which is great, is the watch project. So if you want to um, uh, follow up on one specific project and to be aware of uh, a live uh, change, well, you can decide to uh, start watching the project and you will receive an email that gives you a, a bit of context around this, uh, this change. Um, so in terms of follow-up, that's pretty much it. Uh, now the, the last one will be the, the reporting. So as I mentioned before, the reporting is really important when we talk about project tracking. Um, and because we know uh, gadget and dashboard are really important in, uh, for the Jira users, we have decided to optimize them. So we have created new gadgets. So this time our project lead wants to know how many project per programming language he's got is uh, in, um, is in, portfolio, in his portfolio, sorry. So to do so, let's open the dashboard. We're gonna open the project follow-up dashboard. Um, all the gadgets that you can see on the screen, there are profit gadgets, okay? So you can check out documentation if you want to know more, but basically here we're gonna add a new gadget. Let's select, um, one of the profits gadgets we've got. So let's pick this one, the pie chart gadget. Great, and we're gonna configure it. So it's really easy. You can first choose the data source. So from any filter that you would have previously created, you can choose the field that matters. So remember that this, this time we want to know about programming language. Great, and you can choose the type of chart you want. Awesome. Perfect, so here you can see like a real-time breakdown of your programming language. So you can see, for example, that you've got 12.5% uh, of Java project in your portfolio, which can be a great information if you want to manage your resources, for example. 
Um, so obviously here we've decided to uh, select programming language. You can select any filter that, um, that matters uh, to, to you. So um, that's pretty much it. So I've, I've shown you all the features I wanted to, um, to show you. Um, so um, obviously the most important here is to realize that profile is not only custom field, but it can really help uh, when you need to do some project tracking and especially high level project tracking in your Jira instance. So uh, before going to the q and I want to show you what are uh, the next, uh, the new features we've released in January. Um, so obviously we had uh, some uh, good improvement and uh, new features, but the main one are uh, first the releases view. So I just show you it briefly, but I want to go a bit deeper into this view. Um, so as you saw earlier, release view is basically a timeline of all your product version. So you can not only see your version, but you can also select them by, by criteria. So that, let's say you want to select only your unreleased that you, um, project, your release project, et cetera, et cetera. So that can be another good way of managing your releases. Then you can also select uh, the time frame that uh, matters. Um, so let's say you want uh, to see uh, only your releases from um, and November, uh, October last week, uh, last year and June. So here you can see both like past and next um, releases. You can also change information directly from the pop-up I show you. So you can change uh, the, the release date, for example. You can change also the, the, the statue. So um, what is important to, um, to mention here is that uh, not all uh, the, user, the users will be able to change the information, meaning that in Profile we have created what we call the Profile Administrator, which is basically a role that helps you to delegate some permission. Okay, so uh, only some uh, exclusive uh, users will be able to, to change those uh, information. Great, and the other new features I wanted to show is, uh, well, the integration with Automation for Jira. So as you uh, may be aware, um, Automation for Jira is now a, an app uh, from Atlassian. Um, so we are really proud of this integration and especially because a lot of our users were uh, asking for, for this integration. So um, just so you know, this integration is part of a few other um, marketplace integration. So we are integrated with um, some really strong apps such as EasyVI or Elements Connect. And actually, we've done a webinar, I think it was uh, two weeks ago. Um, this webinar were, was around the integration between EasyVI, Elements Connect, and, and Profiles. So if you want to know more, you can watch on our YouTube channel. It was uh, pretty efficient to understand a bit better of each uh, tool and uh, especially the integration of uh, uh, each of them. But yeah, going back to uh, the integration with uh, automation. So for those who don't know automation, it, uh, it's an app that helps to create automatic rule. Okay, and uh, you can also create some tasks without uh, having to manage a custom uh, script. So obviously our customer were asking for this integration to get automatic rule but on uh, the project level, okay? So if, if you see on the screen, there is like th uh, three new triggers. So you can recognize the profits logo. And basically those uh, triggers are like when a project is created, when the project field value is updated, but also when a project is deleted, okay? So we are already thinking of some other improvements in the future, but right now this is what's uh, available for this integration, so. Let me show you how it works. So first, uh, we are going to create a new rule. <clears throat> Great. So we're gonna pick when an issue is created. So let's save it. We're gonna decide that when an issue is created, we're gonna update a project. Okay. And we're gonna decide that the same project of this issue that is gonna be created is gonna be updated. Then you can choose what is gonna be updated. So in that case, we can change the status, for example. Let's put it on live. Then we're gonna save it. And you can name your um, 
your new rule. So you can choose um, a descriptive title like status go, uh, goes live when an issue is created. Perfect, then you turn it on. And um, let's pick now a project that is now live, not live, obviously. So this one is already perfect. So we're gonna create a new issue on this project. So let's name it new issue. Perfect, and you create it. So as you can see, it's still on ready. So we're gonna wait a few seconds so uh, automation can proceed. And if you refresh the page, perfect. So here you can see that uh, your statu uh, status has been uh, updated because you've created a new, a new issue. So obviously there is um, a lot of use cases for this integration. So we've uh, put some of them on our website. So if you want to know a bit more of this integration, you can go on our website and check the, the use cases we've uh, created for you. Great, so before going to the Q&A session, I first uh, hope you enjoy what you've seen. Uh, I've tried to uh, keep a light uh, demo as we are all overwhelmed with a lot of information, but I hope it was useful. Obviously, if you want to uh, know more, especially around the configuration of the tool, um, you can reach me directly and we can uh, plan another a more technical uh, demo and especially if you want to see a bit more around the integration on anything you can you can reach us but um, now I hope it's clear for everyone that um, profile is much more than fields okay it uh, can be really a, a good asset when uh, you need to solve the task of cleaning your uh, portfolio and uh, bring you like deep project insights. Actually, we've got also a use case around how to do audit uh, on large Jira instance, thanks to Profields. Uh, we've done it for one of our uh, customer and it was uh, pretty successful. So you can also reach us if you want these uh, use cases. Um, then um, obviously Profield can be a good asset to see all your project in a unique place, uh, especially thanks to the views we have created. We are already thinking of some news, uh, new views in the future, but right now we are offering two types of, of views. Then you've got the bulk operation that can help you to gain control and save time. Um, we've got also the integration with automation that can be also a good uh, way of, of saving time. And last but not least, the real-time reporting. So again, not only with the gadget we have created, but also thanks to the integration with uh, other apps such as uh, EasyBI or Exporter. So I hope uh, you enjoy uh, the session. And now it's your time, Fede, to uh, take the mic. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Flora. Uh, well, that was really nicely explained and and really really well done thank you very much and uh, well if you have any questions please uh, write them down and if you uh, it was really really well explained so if you don't don't have any questions and later you seem to be reading about profiles or, or you you install profiles and you have uh, some more questions about it uh, please uh, don't hesitate on asking Flora or even reporting a, a support request through our support uh, portal in the Atlassia Marketplace. Uh, we'll be really glad to, to answer any of your questions. So let's just uh, promote everyone to panelists. Okay. And that's already going on. So... In a couple of seconds, you should all be able to unmute yourself and share your video if you like, if you have a question. Don't be shy. Nobody's fighting. Mm -hmm. Cool. So, could you... Um, and your screen sharing for that would yeah. be great because then you have it. it so we are all here. We should be all here. Nice. Does anybody have a question? 
And if you have a question, please introduce yourself shortly and so that Flora and Frida know who we are talking to. Silence. No question. It means it was clear. No question. <laughs> yeah, it means it was really understandable and clear. <laughs> Um, I have a, um, a, a little strange question. Um, where do you come from? Oh. I didn't. I checked. I didn't check your website, and uh, I, yeah. I wonder. Yeah, so actually, it's a good question. So, Deiser is an uh, Atlassian solution partner here in Spain. Um, Spain. I'm, uh -huh. Yeah, okay. but I'm actually from France, but uh, like the entire team is uh, is Spanish. Yeah, well, there, there's some. Well, I'm originally from. Ah, Argentina. yes, sorry. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. We're so used to each other that it's, it's, it's we're, we're all Spanish now. But it's a company in Spain, yes? Yes, yes. So am I right? We are a solution partner, but also top vendors uh, from okay. the market. And uh, today we are celebrating our 22 years. Um, so we are pretty much well known in the Atlassian marketplace and the Atlassian ecosystem. Thank you. Okay. One question here, Bernhard from eSolution in Munich. Um, one question is, how does uh, it interfere or work together with other project fields like project type and project category? Is this corpor incorporated somehow or works in parallel? How yes. does profile hel they, handles this definitions already? Well, uh, as you said, uh, they work on parallel mode. Uh, uh, you mentioned project category. Project category is a project level, uh, um, how do you call it? Um, a project level uh, field that it will give you properties of a, of a project. Uh, Profiles works uh, at that level, on a project level. So they, they work along. You can search for, you can add that property of the category in different in different screens of your different projects and you can work with them together in order to filter through different information in the as flora showed you in the issue navigator before when you want to filter you can you can work along with uh, the project category for example and the project status that is an, a, 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 proper, a project property that you can create with profiles I hope that I answered your question. Okay, thank you. Other, other question is, how do you keep track of via the project properties? Do you have an own database to store it? Or as it looks a little bit like the you know, issues itself, is it maybe in a separate project to keep all the da project data? Yeah, the project data, you, you can create the project properties the, uh, as fields, as custom fields, but only from, for projects. Uh, Profiles provides you with a, with a fields manager where you can create up to 12 different types of fields uh, going through a text field, list fields, uh, user fields, and even script fields. Uh, that uh, that the data will be storage in the in the Jira database with profiles on uh, database tables. So uh, it, it's it's really easy. We the first thing that we thought about when they said created profiles was a way for our users in order to be able to create and manage those fields. It's really easy. It's, it's a really uh, uh, how do you say user friendly list. Uh, where you can search and you can edit your fields uh, as much as you like uh, and, and so on. It's, uh, it's really nice. Uh, in this, in this uh, demo that Flora just uh, showed you, uh, there, uh, you couldn't see the list of, of fields, the fields manager as we call it. But uh, as soon as you as you install it, you will be able to see it. We have many videos in YouTube in order to, for you to see uh, how, how it works. Uh, it's, really, it's really easy and user friendly. And I think that we have another question here. I hope that I answered that question. Yeah, thank you very much, great. So, thank you very much, Bernard, for the question. And now Frank is, is asking another question. Changing the release date usually bound to the project I mean. 
you mentioned that you, you introduced another role in the project role. It needs also project and me permissions, right? Yes, it, it, it does need project and me permissions. Uh, as Flora mentioned before, this, uh, this new administration, uh, this, new, this, new prof, uh, this new profiles uh, manager role, uh, is going to be able to do so, but uh, you have to keep in mind that that project, uh, that uh, profiles, uh, profiles administration role will be given to someone that is a, a project administrator role. So it will be only, uh, this role will be only able to edit the dates on the projects that he has access to. I hope that, that, that I explain myself. And I hope that, that I answered your question. Do you have any more questions? Um, can I save these uh, fields as templates? Okay. Uh, I yes, you can set them up uh, on, well, uh, we, don't, we don't call it template, we call it uh, pro the project layout where you can create a layout, it, it would be like a sheet of your project where you can arrange the, the fields as you please. And in order for you to have a, an organization to, uh, in order to see, to see those properties uh, like you want to see them, like your team needs to see them, uh, really well organized, uh, you have uh, a lot of freedom in order to arrange them in, in any kind of way in different sections. And that template, that layout, that sheet, uh, you can associate, you, you, you're going to be able to create different kind of uh, layouts. And then you can assign them to different types of projects or a different, a different project. Uh, it's, uh, it's really useful in order to have, as you say, your, uh, a template for your project in order to see the information that you want. I hope that I answer your question. Yes, you did. And a follow-up question, yes. can I export those uh, layouts somehow and import them somewhere else? Mm, no, uh, that's no. That's a really good question. I'm gonna I'm gonna write it down in order to let our team know that that, you, that that's a really good question. But no, it's not possible to to export them uh, at the moment. Uh, but it's it's really it's really good to know that that you ask about it. Do you? Uh, uh, so we'll take that in mind in order to to bring it to bring it up with the team in order to export and maybe import them in, in, another, in another instance. Then Frank has another question. Do you plan a similar view for sprints? Uh, not yet. We don't have that in our, in our plans, uh, but it, it is also a really nice question in order, in order to bring it up with the team. Uh, sprints are, uh, it, there might be a little different and they might uh, be, on another level uh, as in issue level, right? But uh, it, would be, it would be nice to bring it up with the team in order to see if we can apply something like that. That's a really nice question too. I'm writing them down. Yeah. Okay. We are recording everything so you can watch uh, so it again. Really nice. um, any other questions? Okay, let me see. Okay, no, there we go because it was the other, the other window, I have the questions window minim, uh, minimized down there. So there's no questions there. Cool. Okay. <laughs> Any other questions? So, yeah. Well, remember that I, I would be really glad to, to answer the questions. Maybe sometimes we had we had other when we had other webinars or maybe demos uh, people realized that they after reviewing the information that, that we just gave them our profits they uh, more questions popped up in their in their heads so you're really welcome to to write us down in order for us to to answer your question we'll be more than glad and remember that you can find us on community.atlassian.com um, where we also have a post regarding this webinar 
And Flora, I think you are a member of our group, and uh, mm -hmm. Freda, I think I saw you around as well. So if you have any questions or want to continue your discussions there, you can just add that to the post, and uh, we can also use that for discussions. Um, and of course, I will add on every link and everything that was mentioned today uh, in the show notes to the video. So that will be available as well. Um, any other questions? Mm, no. Going once, <laughs> going twice, and on. Thank you very much. Thank you, Flora and Feder. Oh, thanks for, to you for, for organizing. Thank thanks. you for your presentation. Um, happy birthday again. Yeah. And we hope we find, I hope we find some way to celebrate this this year properly, somewhere <laughs> in person. Um, until then, all the best and stay healthy. Thank um, you. Just a short reminder, we will be back next Monday with uh, Sonia Sidarova from NAVE. Uh, talking about Kanban analytics in Jira. And you can, of course, find the talk for every afternoon of the week at 4 p.m. on No Cabin Fever Today. That's no.cabin-fever.today. Um, so see you around either there or next Monday on this screen. So with that, thank you again. Have a nice evening. Have a nice day, wherever you are. And uh, yeah, hope to see you around. Thank you.